channel how are you all doing i hope you guys are well alhamdulillah we are good too and ramzan is going great alhamdulillah so in this video i wanted to share my usual ramzan routine with the kids along with some glimpses of our busy week so week three of ramzan um, our schedule in this week was pretty busy since we had some iftar parties to attend along with me having to run some errands and then just being busy with the kids you know on the day-to-day -day basis um, so i took some clips here and there to share with you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um so yeah as you know the time is going on and the rosas are going on the time for suhoor is getting earlier and earlier so usually we wake up and we will pray tahajjud and do some zikr and duas and then i prepare suhoor and for suhoor i've been making a couple of different things um when i'm you know like i'm not in the mood to eat any salad or curry i usually make something like aloo paratas or even like a simple paratha um and I like to have that with yogurt. My husband, on the other hand, he likes to have, you know, like some type of curry. So I'll make like either chicken curry or um, I even make keema sometimes. So depending on, you know, what he's in the mood for, I will cook accordingly. Um, and uh, he likes to drink chai and I like to make my coffee in the morning. That is a must. I have toned down my coffee to just one time in the morning at Suhoor time. And that has drastically helped with my headaches. Um, so, yeah, this is our simple Suhoor. Alhamdulillah. After Suhoor, I like to recite a little bit of Quran. My goal is to read about one separa a day to finish the Quran at the end of the month, inshallah. Then I get my husband's clothes ready for work and then I'll sleep for a bit until the kids get up. Once the kids are up, then our busy day starts. I keep their breakfast relatively simple and the same throughout the week. They'll have like some form of eggs, either scrambled or boiled along with like, you know, some sort of side of toast. Um, I give them pancakes and cereal as a treat on the weekend so that way they know what to expect during the week. Um, then it was time for me to clean the kitchen because i left a lot of the dishes from suhoor in the sink so i just put everything in the dishwasher since this week was pretty busy with spending like lots of time with the kids and then going for iftars outside it's been hectic you know getting everyone ready first the kids then getting myself ready plus you know trying to fit into my schedule as much ibadat as i can and trying to focus on that ibadat you know and to get the most out of this month so the days have been going super fast eid approaching soon i wanted to start cleaning the house slowly because my house has definitely taken the back seat so far usually when i'm doing any work i like to put on like quran recitation or a ramadan series on my screen here to play in the background so far this wine me series by omar Suleiman has been my favorite this month it's so insightful and so nice to just listen to um i also realized that i had you know this fluid had finished in my dishwasher so i made sure to refill on that this helps to keep your dishes you know sparkly and clean and like without those watermarks when you you know when you take out your dishes at the end Once that was done then i got started on cleaning my sink because that was long overdue i have been putting this off for the past couple of days over and over again because i just didn't have the energy to do it i feel like in ramzan we just kind of get lazy too we don't really want to do any of the cleaning cleaning just seems like such a i don't know hassle <laughs> um but Everyone has their favorite chore or task that they like to do, right? For me, I think my favorite thing would be like washing the dishes and stuff. But if you ask me to clean things, I think that's my least favorite chore, cleaning and like maybe folding laundry. But I think that's still reasonable. It's still doable. But yeah, cleaning, like deep cleaning. Oh, I don't know. That, that gets to me. But yeah, I was basically cleaning the sink because there was a lot of grime and everything that built up. And you must be wondering, what are my kids doing? How am I just, you know, like so calmly and patiently being able to clean my sink without anyone disturbing me or screaming for mama 10 times? Um, well, I had given them just simple things to play with and... To be honest, one of my secret hacks is to just give them like the simplest things that you can think of, common things in nature. For example, I had gotten some snow from our backyard and I put that in a bowl for both of them and they were so happy and entertained for at least half an hour with the snow and I gave them a couple of bowls with it. So they kept transferring the snow from one bowl to another bowl and that just kept them busy the whole time while I was cleaning the sink. Um, so yeah, little things like that will keep your kids you know, busy if you do 
don't you don't have to have some elaborate like activity before i used to think that i have to always be sitting with my kids and doing some sort of activity with them but i've realized that just giving them some you know natural stuff to play with like snow or water or even things like pasta for example you give that to them in a bowl with a couple of extra bowls and just give them a spoon just transferring those things back and forth that will keep them busy so that's a good mom hack after a lot of scrubbing and cleaning here is my shiny sink it almost looks brand new right um this is what xavier was playing with some snow and he got some of his toys and he made a little snowman i added you know eyes and a mouth using some sprinkles and that made him really happy um so yeah little things like this keep them busy right here i saw that there was a lot of grime on the sink faucet so i basically took a ziploc bag and i added a little bit of vinegar in it and i tied it to the faucet head and basically you let that sit for about like you know 20 to 30 minutes and you'll see that all the grime basically it just kind of goes away you can wash it off um, with a cloth wipe it off with a cloth and it'll be as good as new so the morning goes by um, by spending time with the kids playing different games with them um, usually I will go upstairs with them and play you know like a pretend play where we're pretending to be either a doctor or having like you know tents made for them and they'll play in that or um, Xavier likes to do puzzles a lot nowadays so we decided to get him this new puzzle here and mashallah he was really happy and excited to complete the puzzle his old dinosaur puzzle he had done it so many times that it was definitely time for a change he practically had that puzzle memorized by heart so yeah he was really happy with his new puzzle the outside looks so beautiful the snow was practically all melted and it just looked like spring or summer was just about to come so i was very happy when i looked outside then it was time for namaz so i liked to you know uh, fit it into my schedule in such a way where i'll either put on the tv for the kids or when zoe goes to sleep because zohar prayer is perfectly at that time so doing lots of zikr and making lots of dua um i like to play omar and hana for zaviar even zoe enjoys watching this i find it really beneficial they share a lot of islamic topics and the kids have been learning a lot from them i think it's just a very creative and fun way of teaching islam to the kids um i also fit in a little bit of quran recitation while he's watching tv i think it's just best when you're multitasking so i had to buy some arts and craft stuff for the kids and zoe's nap is the perfect time to do that so come along with me to get some stuff some arts and crafts things so let's go grab that i'm trying not to look at anything else on the way because i know i'm going to end up buying other things I think this would be really fun for Zavira to play with too and make like, you know, different things out of it. So let's add that. We have this whole section for arts and crafts. So you can see like paintbrushes, all the... I'm just taking a look around and seeing what Zavira and Zoe both would get busy with, you know? Check out... It's been such a long time since I've been to, you know, HomeSense and like just come out in general. Of course, my next stop had to be HomeSense. This is my absolute favorite place to go to when, you know, I just want a break or I want some me time. Um, I love the store and I, I usually buy a lot of my kitchen stuff from here. So yeah, I actually arrived at around 12.33 and can you guess what time I left? I actually left maybe around 3.30. So yeah, I did end up spending around two hours here. I go through every single aisle and like the flower aisle i loved it they had so many nice fresh vibrant um colored flowers this time definitely like spring vibes and then everything in the home decor section all the gold it was just calling my name they have so much variety of paintings and furniture and you just want to keep walking around the store i didn't have anything in particular in mind i was just looking around to see if maybe i could find something that was on sale that was really pretty and caught my eye and it was my lucky day i did find some stuff Guys, I think I found something. This is such a pretty gold. So pretty. 
ended up getting this gold tray along with these white and gold serving dishes which i absolutely fell in love with they match some of my dishware at home as well so that was just perfect and then i headed back home and spent some more time with the kids and my husband also came back from work so after you know the kids had dinner and it was finally their bedtime we put them down for bed and then it was time for me to get iftar ready so i like to do things pretty simple this year we've been keeping our iftars very light very simple we only do like you know like a fruit chart along with like some air fried items and that's about it uh we don't have any like salen or curries or roti or naan and none of that stuff we just wanted to keep it light and simple and um so far this month it's been going good alhamdulillah we haven't been feeling hungry we've been feeling quite energized and the rosas have been going good too so yeah i basically prepared this fruit chart along with some of these box patties that i had prepared in advance and spring rolls all of these recipe details are in my previous videos i will have the link above definitely definitely try these recipes out i'm sure you guys will love them um so yeah i added some kajur i had the fruit chart and then our air fried items and that was our simple uh iftar then finally it was you know around 9 p.m that's once i've you know cleaned all the dishes and i put the rest of the dishes in the dishwasher it was time to turn it on and then it was time to you know just relax rest and have have some time to myself uh, do some prayers and zikr and then we got a huge surprise the next day which was a snowstorm so a snowstorm had hit calgary and everything was officially white again if you guys remember when i showed you how the snow had practically melted well <laughs> it basically came back again and everything was white so since the weather wasn't as cold we decided to bundle up the kids and take them outside so that they can enjoy the snow as well my poor husband had to shovel the entire driveway and it was a lot of work <laughs> so he was while he was shoveling the kids were basically excited and walking around in the snow and just playing around mashallah it was zoe's first time um you know actually physically playing in the snow and she was you know mashallah having the time of her life she absolutely loved it she did not want to come inside and it was also um garbage day so the garbage truck had picked up the garbage and Flavia insisted that we bring the bin back to its place Zoe, mashallah, was mesmerized by the snow. She just kept, you know, staring at it in her hand. <laughs> um, we did try to make a snowman, but we failed miserably, so that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, later in the evening, we were actually going to have iftar at a friend's house. Our dear friends had hosted a potluck iftar for us, so everyone brought a dish, and mashallah, she had also arranged a lot of stuff herself too. She was a great host, mashallah. The kids had a blast, and we all had such a wonderful time with friends. Alhamdulillah for these little blessings you know and a huge shout out to friends who are just like family mashallah there are a few snippets of that iftar for a beautiful iftar with some beautiful friends um the following weekend we also had another iftar um that we had to attend and this time it was going to be hosted by my parents um so here is the outfit that i wore i kept it pretty simple some pretty casual i actually really liked the sleeve details um i love the lace that it has on the sleeves as well as like the ends of um the sh the kameez um so yeah my ami had actually a whole menu prepped but i still wanted to you know bring some something special for the iftar party um i decided to make these little you know spicy chicken boats that i call them um so i've actually shared the recipe of the filling in my previous videos this is the same filling that i use for my chicken box patties and i basically did the same filling i um you know marinated the chicken i cooked that and then i added some chopped jalapenos and green peppers along with some mayo um so once that was fully mixed and well combined then i basically decided to 
make the dough for the boats this chicken boats recipe is like a crowd pleaser it's a crowd favorite anytime that i've made these these have been devoured mashallah and everyone loves them so this recipe is a definite must try um, it's super simple it's super easy it doesn't require a lot of effort or prep either um, so i just took about one and a half cup of flour added a little bit of salt and then one egg and then you want to add some warm milk so here i'm showing you guys that i took one cup of warm milk and i'm adding it slowly to form like a soft but sticky dough um, i actually am not adding the entire one cup of milk directly i'm adding little by little until it forms a soft dough so you just want to keep going and seeing until you get that desired consistency which i'm going to show you guys at the end um, so once i got it into you know roughly like a ball um, i basically started kneading the dough and you don't need to knead it too much maybe just knead it for about five minutes you want it to be soft but not too sticky where it's completely sticking to your fingers like as you guys can see here i just want to show you that i used only half a cup of milk um and i didn't use the rest so i covered the dough with a little bit of oil and then i set it aside to rest for a bit after about 20 minutes of resting i made these small little balls from the dough and then i rolled them out to this oval shape so you don't want to take um your dough balls like you don't want to make them too big you want them small relatively small make this oval shape and you can see the thickness of the dough as well it's not too thick it's actually quite thin um so yeah make sure that you dust your surface because the dough will stick so after i've rolled it to my desired shape i add a teaspoon of ketchup now this is optional but i find that this helps to keep your um your mixture nice and juicy so after adding ketchup i add in the desired amount of filling and i like to add a lot so after that to get the desired boat look i basically made these two cuts on either side of the filling as you guys can see here um, and then afterwards it's pretty simple you basically just take each side and you fold them across and you guys are going to see this right here so i'm basically taking each side and i'm folding it across and that is going to result in the boat like shape and it looks really pretty once it's baked then i grabbed a baking tray and i lined it with aluminum foil i sprayed a little bit of oil on top and i basically made sure to grease it properly so that way the chicken bolts don't stick to the bottom um, and then basically i made the rest of the boat so i like to make it um, in like an assembly line way so i made basically all of i rolled out all of the dough and then i worked as an assembly line and i made all the boats your chicken boats then you basically want to beat one egg and you want to glaze it on top of the dough um, and this basically helps to give it like a nice golden color once they're baked so basically brush that on on all of the chicken boats and then we like to basically take some sesame seeds and sprinkle that all on top <laughs> done i basically placed both trays in the oven um, to bake and then we got ourselves ready and headed over to my parents house and mashallah they had set up all these lights around the house and it looks so nice um and it gave such a you know like a nice ramzan feel because they had all of the lights with moons and stars and everything here is my outfit and this is the final look how it looked i love the lace detail right away we started with frying all of the different items that ami had prepared so she had some of her freezer prep done in advance and 
I was standing in frying those. She also had all of her serving um, dishes out on the dining table ready for us to arrange on the island. My sister had prepared the dates with some nuts in the middle. The kids, of course, they were enjoying because it was Nano's house and they had basically made a mess out of the whole place. <laughs> but as long as they were quiet and having fun, right? Um, my sister was putting all of the serving dishes, like, you know, on the island along with the different dishes that Ami had prepared in advance. So she had made um, chana chard, which was absolutely delicious, by the way. Um, she'd also made the ibale, um, along with, you know, fruit chard. Mashallah, she had made so many dishes that, um, like, I'm pretty sure she had gotten herself tired the entire day. So mashallah, mashallah, and alhamdulillah for, you know, all of these blessings. And may Allah reward our parents for all of the effort and the hard work that they put um, into arranging this iftar. And yeah, so then afterwards, I got the serving spoons and I started placing those into all of the different dishes. So at this point, we were kind of working quickly so that way we didn't have to rush at iftar time. We just wanted the island and the table to be ready beforehand so that we would have time to make dua as a family. Um, so yeah, I added the serving spoons and then my sister was basically making ruavza. While she was making that, I was kind of roaming around the kitchen and making clips here and there along with watching the kids because it was close to the kids' bedtime time and they were still not asleep yet so they were getting a little bit cranky um but i thought it's okay let them enjoy iftar with the whole family today my sister added a lemon juice to the ruavza and then once that was ready ami had a couple of different chutneys um she had this green spicy chutney along with this sweet and sour imli chutney and um this is a regular imli that she had so this was for all of the fried foods that she had prepared so we basically put the fried foods in the trays and put them in the oven along with with this big pot of biryani that Ami had made and I also put the chicken boats in the air fryer so that way they would be warm so that's why we put it in the oven and air fryer and then my sister was arranging the table getting that ready by now there was only half an hour left till iftar and everyone was just you know patiently waiting for the azan to go um Xavier was being kept busy with this little board that his hala had got minutes him. before iftar we all sat down as a family to make lots and lots of dua for our loved ones family friends relatives and the entire Entire Oma, may Allah accept our duas. Here is the final look of the iftar. Alhamdulillah for such an amazing iftar with family. Alhamdulillah for all of Allah's blessings. Can't say Alhamdulillah enough. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and that was all of week three of Ramzan for us. And I will see you guys in my next vlogs, which will be all about Eid preparations and how we celebrate Eid here in Canada. So take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.